Good morning, folks. Richie Rich here, Old School 392. I'm on my way to work. We're finishing up our season. I do blacktop work. Work for a paving company, drive a triaxle dump truck. But I gotta show you, today I woke up, and this is what I woke up to. See all the salt trucks and plow trucks out there? So I got to drive my brand new Hellcat for the very first time in the snow. In the snow. I was on the parkway, which is a high speed road up here in Jersey, if you're not from Jersey. And I will tell you this. Um, I kept her in eco mode. State trooper went by me in a SUV and he got a little squirrely. And he turned his lights on and reduced everybody's speed. So I'm glad he went by me because uh, I then immediately got out of it. I was down to about, I don't know, 60 miles an hour, down to about 40. 40 miles an hour the rest of the way in. Traction control, everything in the car performed the way it should. It was like no different than driving a pickup truck. I mean, let's face it, these fucking things weigh 4,500 pounds. So, my tips for driving in the snow. Put your Hellcat in eco mode. Let it be a six-cylinder. Throttle response is cut. And definitely, all the traction control on this car performed superbly. I got a little squirrely on the parkway. And I've got to tell you, it performed flawlessly. The car literally got itself straight again. Um, without much effort. So, it's almost Christmas, folks. The Hellcat will be put away. And I will be buying a nice little used car or pickup truck or something to go back and forth to work cause um, I've had my fun driving this baby and um, as you can see I'm really driving it I've got almost 8,000 miles on it I bought the extended warranty so I got bumper to bumper on it for 5 years but um, I don't want to beat the car up I'm a little stressed about the snow and the salt. Probably take five wash jobs to get this car clean. Undercarriage wash, everything, cause this is my baby. It's actually a dream car. I didn't buy this car to drag race. I fell in love with the color as lime green is one of my favorite colors. I saw this car at the dealership. Somebody had ordered it decided to wait for the 2020 it sat there for four months every time I went there there she was and she was calling out to me and I actually said to myself I don't know $80,000 is a lot of money for a car it's a lot of car though and uh, I'm glad I made that jump Unlike everybody else out there, there are people who say, how can you drive that thing? I respect it. Respect the beast, okay? So, she's no different driving her in snow than on a dry road, other than you gotta respect it, take it easy. So if you get caught in a snowstorm unexpectedly, like I did today, you know, just respect that power. Keep her in eco mode. And watch out for all the other fucking idiots out there. That's my biggest fear. All those other idiots. So, that's the best advice I can give you. She performed the way that Dodge built her. To be a safe automobile, even in inclement weather. And look here, folks. It started snowing. It's now... Uh, seven o'clock and it started snowing uh, I guess about six this morning okay I'm almost at work 
stopped at the local quick check to get a cup of coffee but take a look at that snow out there okay take a look at all that snow so uh, that's about it this is just gonna be a short video I just wanted everybody to know you can drive these babies in the snow I am a professional driver not a professional Hellcat driver I drive big trucks my whole life and uh, I know how to drive my Hellcat hasn't been top speeded at probably no more than that see that top speed I haven't beat on it I jumped on it one day on the parkway at about a I don't know 50 55 mile an hour roll just to go past somebody and the car got a little wiggly on me and I was like you gotta be kidding me so I didn't buy her to drag race I might try it one day um, but I respect the car I bought it cause hey it's a badass car and even old men want something badass in their lifetime so wherever the weather is wherever you're at be safe out there and just remember that you control the speed okay and in the car review world if I was reviewing this car I would say this okay if you're gonna play with it go out on a road that's got like four lanes and sit in the middle of that road and jump on it learn how to respect this beast because if you don't you'll kill yourself plain and simple you will kill yourself i've had fast cars my whole life and i'm here to tell you you will kill yourself in this car if you don't know what you're doing um check my buddy out racer x because Razor X will give you some driving lessons, okay? He's got a 2016 Hellcat, 1,000 horsepower, and that man can drive, okay? But he'll tell you the same thing. Respect the beast. Respect it when you're out on the road, and remember, there are other people around you. So if you're on the road and you jump on it and you get sideways, you might take somebody out, okay? Respect it. Go someplace in Mexico. Learn how to drive it. Because that's what I've done. Have a great day. Richie Rich out.